Happy Friday! Yes, it's the weekend and it's time for an after work story. Hopefully, I'll get through the chosen book. My memory was short for the last couple days, but woo, we have Firebird! Yes, Misty Copeland, New York Times bestselling. She's a ballerina, Misty, shows a young girl how to dance like the Firebird. And Christopher Myers, oh my goodness, that phenomenal illustrator. Oh, just look at that. Oh, you can't see with the plastic. Can you imagine her dancing to Cyrus Chestnut? This is a long time ago. Oh, it's so pretty. With spare, poignant text, American Ballet Theater soloist Misty Copeland writes of a young dancer whose confidence is fragile. Through hard work and dedication, Misty shows her how she can reach the same heights as Misty, even becoming the Firebird, Misty Copeland's signature role. An affecting story echoing Misty Copeland's own remarkable and meteoric rise in meteoric rise in ballet, paired with vibrant, Memorable art with plenty of style and flair. Some of the Caldecott honorary Christopher Meyer's best work. A must have for any lover of ballet. And if you don't love ballet, you're going to love it after this. Oh, look at this. The space between you and me is longer than forever. You are the sky and clouds and air. Your feet are swift as sunlight, stretching across the skyline like the day-long sun over the horizon. Me? I'm gray as rain, heavy as nap time, low as a storm pressing on rooftops. Yeah, I had to run in the rain just now, and I see a little boy running in the rain, and he's topless. Okay, there are two boys, okay. It's not that warm outside. I could never hope to leap the space between, but they're showing up running and leaping. They look like my co-worker's children. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at this. Before the curtain rises, before the spotlight falls. Look at this beautiful red. Before the fireworks of costumes, before it all. With the brush strokes. Oh. I was a dancer just like you. A dreaming shooting star of a girl with work and worlds ahead. What are your dreams? Huh? I know there were plans for you even before you were born. There I am, sweating at the bar. I had a thousand leaps and falls, switching worn out slippers, swift as applause. Even birds must learn to fly, like me. You'll grow steady in grace, spread an arabesque of wings, and climb. Mm. Each position, one through five stairs, step to the sky. That's right. You will soar, become a swan, a beauty, a firebird for sure. Soon with the same practice, you'll join me in this dancing dream. Yes. In a pas de dole, a music box for two, we will wrap our hearts, careful as ribbons, on point tissues. Mm. We'll make the night sky our starry curtain, the moon our silver spotlight as we spin across the planets, pirouetting tightly as the curls on our heads. Hey. Spinning wishes for new little ones we can't yet imagine. Then they will look to you and wonder, lighter than air and swift as sunlight, turning over the day and say, the space between you and me is longer than forever, and I will show them 
that forever is not so far away. Wasn't that beautiful? <laughs> A personal note from Misty Copeland. I don't know if I'm going to get through it, but let's see. I was once a little girl searching for my voice, quiet, scared, unique, yet alive and vibrant. I struggled, caught among five siblings, desperate to be noticed. I never felt that I fit anywhere, not even at home, surrounded by my family. My discovery of movement became my saving grace. When I was introduced to ballet, it was like finding the missing piece to my puzzle. I danced my worries and fears away. The beauty of dance is being as a part of something that is all of you, from creation to performance. You hold the power of your instrument. That instrument comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. That instrument is your body, soul, and heart. That instrument is you and me. But when I opened up ballet books, I didn't see myself. I saw an image of what a ballerina should be, and she wasn't me. Brown with tendrils sweeping her face, I needed to find me. This book is you and me. I want to expand the idea of beauty and art. Raven Wilkinson, African-American ballerina with a ballet, Russ de Monte Carlo, and other amazing women took my hand and led me. Now it is my turn to lead others. This book is bringing my existence and non-existence as a young girl to life, showing other girls and boys that they're not alone. They too can find their voice, their wings, their missing piece. My hope are that people will feel empowered to be whatever they want to be, to feel that they have no limits, just endless dreams that are reachable. No matter what that dream is, you have the power to make it come true with hard work and dedication, despite what you look like or struggle with. I hope to pave a more definitive path that the one that was there for me, but was just a little too hidden. I want to bring many with me to trace and create an even more vivid road to acceptance of yourself and from others. Join me. Sincerely yours, Misty Copeland. This is Christopher Myers, the illustrator. Oh, find that dream, guys. And this last day of Women's History Month, it's within you. It might be from your birth mother or from way before, but find out, find out that gift. It's beautiful. Enjoy. <laughs>